In this video, I will show you how to use LiveBinds in a VCL application. So let's start creating a new project. I will choose here a VCL Farms application. Let's add here also a data module. So we have here in their files a data module. Let's save everything. So let's create here um, Visual Live Binds 1 and uh, let's save everything here. Um, to this data module, uh, I'm going to add a FireDAC connection. So I have here in under the interbase server some connections. I will use the DB demos database and the, let's choose here the build life table so you can just drag and drop the components the, the, the table in your data module and the, you have a connection properly configured in the table we can test here it's active so we are had to go uh, let's come back to the main farm and the, in this main farm I use say file use unit let's add the unit to our data module and the, I will bring you here also a string grid and the uh, navigator so a bind navigator let's align the navigator in the bottom and the grid to the client okay so right click and you have the bind visually option and the, all that you need to do is to connect the bio life table to the string grid and we already have the fields if we activate the table you have data in design time let's bind also this to the navigator and then we can run the application and see the application running and the, as you can see everything is synchronized we have here a graphic it's an image, in fact, so let's add a component here at the image to show uh, this graphic. So I will turn here the align to the left. And uh, we have here some space to add a T image control. Uh, so all you need to do is to connect the field to the image control. Uh, you can do this using the LiveBind designer or you can use the LiveBind wizard. Let's connect here directly the graphic to the picture. So if you run the application again, as you can see, everything is synchronized. You have the image, the grid, etc. Uh, one additional detail, if you have a form using the traditional data source uh, you can mix the the traditional controls the the, the, the data wire controls with the live binds uh, technology so let's add here um, db edit to db edits in fact and the uh, you put here as a data source this data source we are going to point to our bio life table and the the buff edit we are going to connect to the data source the first one will be the common name here and the, the second one will be the space name okay so as you can see uh, everything is synchronized there doesn't matter if it's connected by a live bind or by the traditional data source you can mix the both frameworks you can use live binds and the the data source components uh, data source connected components in the same form and everything will be synchronized synchronized as you can see here okay so that's it for this topic